York. Good morning. Morning. Professor, let's talk about this. Want to try and understand what chemical are we talking about at this fertilizer plant that made this so dangerous? Well, let's put this into perspective. The Boston bombing, as tragic as it was, released the energy of one stick of dynamite. An ammonia, ammonia nitrate released in an accident of this sort can release the energy of several truckloads of dynamite, enough to set off a 2.1 magnitude earthquake in terms of intensity. The Oklahoma City bombing, for example, was based on one ton of fertilizer. Here, they were licensed to have over 25 tons. Wow. So you can imagine the scale, the enormity of what happened. And fertilizer explosions are some of the worst ever in the history of this country. 1947, uh, 2,000 tons worth of ammonia nitrate detonated, killing 600 people, also in Texas. And how are they set off? Well, there's two ways. Ammonia nitrate added with fuel oil can set off a tremendous fertilizer explosion. Here we think there was anhydrous ammonia, which can be set off with water. In liquid form or in gaseous form? Well, anhydrous ammonia we think was in gaseous form here, but you can compress it and it can turn into a liquid. And then what happened with the water? Here is the working hypothesis. Water under certain conditions will set off uh, anhydrous ammonia. The working hypothesis is there was a fire explosion. Uh, firemen were called on site in a routine operation, but the hose water, the hose water might have set off the anhydrous ammonia, creating a chain reaction of explosions releasing the titanic force which leveled, which can level several city blocks. And you should understand that uh, if you have a plant with that kind of ammo uh, 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 the ammonia's hydrate. We may have to rewrite the book on this. The EPA's regulations say that it is okay to have this amount of material because nothing is going to happen. But there's a rare sequence of events. The right temperature, the right pressures, and the right amount of water will set off anhydrous ammonia. All right, Professor Kaku, thank you.